Hello and good morning. It's a lovely Sunday here. We are at All Saints Cathedral and we are so glad you're joining us today online. We love you so much, our online family. Thank you for being with us, joining with us, the story of Jesus, uh, the last days of Jesus on earth. We have been calling it the Holy Week and this is the climax of the Holy Week. You've been with us since Monday. You went through with us until Good Friday. We just rested on Saturday. Today is Sunday, a bright morning. Say good morning to our children online. Good, good morning. morning. Yes, so before we start our lesson today, I want us to pray. Our Heavenly Father, we humble ourselves in your presence this morning. Dear Father, thank you for being a good God. Thank you for having taken care of us, for having loved us, having walked with us even as we studied the story of Jesus Christ on the last days on earth. Thank you for giving us the grace to do this, oh God. We have learned so much. Even today as we learn the resurrection of Jesus Christ, we pray that the Holy Spirit is our teacher is going to help us to learn more about you. As we start this lesson, my Father, may you start with us, continue with us until the end of the lesson. We will be so grateful and careful to say thank you. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. 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 So welcome so much, children at home. Please call your brothers, your sisters, your neighbors. If they are not watching, if they did not go to church, please tell them to join us. We are online. We are Hola. Yes. So those who are on TikTok, please talk a TikTok and a YouTube. Talk a wapi? TikTok. And a wapi? And a YouTube. Yes. Go to YouTube and catch up with us online and let us learn the word of God together. So I'm going to ask Dan to help us. Enoch. I'm going to ask Enoch to help us read. Uh, Matthew, Matthew 27 is going to read from verse 6 to 62 to 66. Read for us. The next day, the one after preparation day, the chief priest and the, fa the, Pharis the Pharisees went to Pil Pilate. Sir, they said, we remember that while he was still alive, that 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 discover said, after three days I will raise again. So give the order for the tomb to be made secure until the third day. Otherwise, his disciples may come and steal the body and tell the people that he has been raised from the death. This last disappointment will be worse than the first. Take guard, Pilate answered. Go make the tomb and as secure as you know how. So they went uh, and made the tomb secure by putting a, a seal on the stone and positioning the guard. All right. Okay, let Daniel read for us chapter, tw chapter 28. Yes, verse 1 to verse 10. After the uh, Sabbath, 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 a Sunday morning was uh, do doing, Mary Ma Magdalene. Magdalene. Magdalene and the other Mar Mary, Mary went to look at the tomb. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, there was came down from the heaven, rolled the stone away, and sat on it. He his appearance was like lightning, mm -hmm. and his clothes were white as snow. The guardians were so afraid that they tre tre they trembled uh, afraid they troubled troubled and become like dead men. Mm -hmm. The angel spoke to the woman, "You must not 
be afraid. He said, I know you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has been raised just as he said. Come here and see the place where he was lying. Go quickly now and tell the disciples. He, was, he has been raised from death and now he is going to Galil, Galil, Galilee. Uh, Galilee mm-hmm. ahead, of, uh, ahead of you. There, are you. there you will see him. Remember th- what I have told you. So they left the tomb and uh, in a hurry, afraid and yet filled with joy, and ran to, the, to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Peace be with you. They came up to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Do not uh, be afraid. Afraid, mm-hmm. Jesus said to them, "Go and tell me, br- tell my brothers to go to Gal- Gali, Gali, and uh, and there they will be see him." Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, and we say this is the word of God. Uh-huh. And what do we say? Thanks be to God. Yes, this is the word of God. So we have, um, the two boys have read to us the story of Jesus and how, what happened after he was crucified. You remember our Tom children? Yes, this Tom. And who, who, who put him in the tomb? We said Joseph of Armadea. So he went and his body was placed here and it was locked. And it was locked. Now, And they said, you know, Jesus had said, after three days, he will rise again. So let us fix it. Let us fix it so strong that his disciples will not come and steal his body. And then they will lie again and say, now he has risen. Because we know he will not rise. What will happen? The disciples will steal his body and he will tell us that he has risen. So... They put two guards. They put who? Yes, they put two guards. The strong men. They were strong men. Are you seeing from home? Yes. These strong men were put there to guard the body of Jesus Christ so that his disciples would not come and steal his body and then they would say, you know, he has risen just as he said. So, But Jesus actually was rising again. So in the morning, something happened. An angel appeared. Who Who appeared? Angel. An angel appeared. And he was so bright. And he appeared. And then there was a loud noise. And the guards were so terrified. And they fell down. And they were like people who have died. They fell down. Jesus Christ was rising again. Jesus Christ was rising again. So, we learn that Mary Magdalene and the other Mary. So, as in their custom, they loved Jesus so much. So, actually, children, they were going to put an oil to the body of Jesus because they loved Jesus so much and they wanted to put some nice perfume. Hmm. Have you seen your mommy's perfume? Yes. Hmm. What is the scent? Very nice, right? Yes. Mommy's perfume is always very nice. So Jesus Christ uh, and then now this, the, the Mary, Magdalene, and the other women, they were going to put the oil and the perfume to Jesus' body. Guess what happened? Yes? What happened? The angel appeared on their face. Yes. 
Yes, daddy, it's okay. We'll answer next. The angel appeared. What happened to the women? The angel appeared. Children at home, are you able to see? Yes, the angel appeared to them. And he told them, Jesus is not here. He is risen. He is not here. He is risen. And they were so afraid. So they went. They ran very fast and went and told the disciples of Jesus. So they ran to Peter and James telling them, Jesus is not there. He is risen. And they could not believe. So Peter came running because Peter loved Jesus so much. He came running. Let's see what Peter did. So Peter came running. And he, he went to the tomb. Can you see what Peter is doing? What is Peter doing in this, in this picture? Holding, holding, yes? Holding the, holding the cloth of Jesus. Yeah, is, he, has, he has rolled down. He has, uh, he has rolled the, the, the stone and he wanted to see if actually Jesus is there. So he was peeping in the tomb of Jesus like this. Do you see, do you see Peter peeping? Yes, Peter is peeping and he's so surprised. Like, is it true? Is it true? Yes, children at home, it was actually true that Jesus Christ had risen. And then because now Jesus Christ loved Mary and Mary loved Jesus Christ as well, he appeared to Mary. He appeared to who, children? Yes, and Mary actually was the first person to believe that actually Jesus is risen. He was the f she was the first one to do what? To believe that Jesus was risen. Yes, Mary was the first one, and he was so, she was so happy to know that Jesus is alive again. He, she was so happy that? Jesus is alive again. So just like Mary, Teacher Celestine is so happy. Are you happy? Yes. Yes. Even children at home, I'm sure, just like Mary and his disciples, we are so happy that Jesus Christ is risen again. And we are so happy that he, he was able to die for our sins. We don't have to die again. We don't have to be put on the cross just because of the things we have done. No. Jesus Christ has died and he has risen again because of our sins. So children, the Bible says, for those who have believed in Jesus Christ and have received them and have believed in Jesus Christ, they have been given the opportunity to become the children of God. So don't just stay there in sin. Keep doing bad things. What are the bad things that children do at home? Uh, let's start from Ari. Just without the mic, just mention. Mm -hmm. they, they, they abuse each other, Daniel. They do violence. They, uh -huh, yes. they lie to their parents. Yes, they lie to their parents. They talk things to God. Yes, they don't obey God. They don't obey God. There are people who don't listen. When their parents tell them, get ready, we are going to church, they keep on saying, you know, mommy, I have lost my shoe. I can't see my sweater. They give excuses. So Jesus is risen and he died for our sins. So we want to thank God that it's been a very wonderful journey learning the life of Jesus Christ on earth during the Holy Week. Children at home, I hope you have enjoyed learning with us. We will continue learning online. So please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page so that every time we are live, you're able to join us. So we're going to uh, close with uh, a memory verse. And our memory verse is from the book of um, Matthew. Go with me to Matthew. Matthew chapter 28 and verse 6. Matthew 28, 6. Say with me, Matthew. Matthew 28. Yes, yeah, so say Matthew 28, 6. 
Matthew 28.6. Yes, it says, he is not here. He is risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. So children, uh, together, me and you and children at home, I want you to say with me, Matthew 28.6. Matthew 28.6. He is not here. He is, he is risen. He has risen. Just as he said. Just as he said. Matthew 28, 6. Matthew 28, 6. He is not here. He is not here. He has risen. He has risen. Just as he said. Just as he said. Yes, so keep memorizing that verse. Uh, we have homework for you, children at home. We have uplo uploaded it in our YouTube, so download. Uh, do the coloring, do the painting, and uh, one day we will meet and you will see what you are doing. So because it's Sunday, we are giving an offering. So tell your mommy and your daddy the m -Pesa. Uh, pay bill is running through our screen. Uh, our pay bill is 30, 30, 36. Tell mommy and daddy to give an offering on your behalf. And we will really thank God for you joining us today. So going to do our last prayer, even as we pray for offerings. Can we pray, children? Yes, let us pray. Father, we want to thank you so much for the children that have joined us online. Thank you because we have learned and we know that you're no longer in the tomb. You are risen and you are alive again. Thank you for the hope of resurrection because you are the resurrection. Thank you, Jesus Christ, because of your faithfulness. Thank you for the offerings that your children are going to give online. We speak a blessing upon them and upon their families and their parents as well. Thank you, my Father, for this week. As we start another week, we pray that you're going to be with us. You're going to bless us and guide us in everything that we do. Bless the work of our hands. Bless us in school. Bless our teachers, our friends, and even our neighbors, oh God. Father, we give you praise for this. We pray and believe in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So for the children at home, we say goodbye and see you again next Sunday. May God truly bless you. Amen.